Now we will look into the etiological factors of gender dysphoria. We have looked at uh, the uh, diagnostic criteria of gender dysphoria in childhood children as well as gender dysphoria in adults and adolescents. Now we will look in, in, into what causes it. Uh, the causes of gender dysphoria are currently unknown. Madhav, there is no, um, uh, they have not identified specific causes, but uh, they, 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 there is suspect, they suspect that genes, hormones, or hormonal influence when the mother is conceiving the baby in the womb and environmental factors all are suspected to be involved. So there are genetic uh, indicators, there are um, hormonal changes within the womb of the mother when the mother is conceptualizing the baby. Um, that's why we see that the children start behaving in that way in very early childhood. And then environmental factors we will also look at. It's not only influences in womb or the genetic factor, there are also environmental factors which play a role. What are the psychological factors? Early onset gender dysphoria develops into early. Uh, it has been seen that uh, school ke under uh, gender dysphoria nazarana shuru ho jata hai. Even preschool age mein bhi nazarana shuru ho jata hai. Uh, the child is very, very, very small, and we have whatever we have talked about is actually manifested in play, uh, manifested in in form of preferences of dress, preferences of playmates. So, iska matlab hai ke bacha jab bahut choti umar mein jab wo interact karna shuru karta hai chote bachon ke saath, even in toddler or when when he grows up and when he has in a, in a position to play with toys or cho choose that I have to wear clothes, I have to wear clothes, so from that age, from that age, this manifests in a very small age. So a high degree of atypicality may develop gender dysphoria and it's persistent into adolescent and adulthood are more likely that if in a child in a very small age, because it's pre-school, so if you don't notice it or if you don't do it or if you don't do it or if you don't do it, then actually in adolescent and adulthood, that gender dysphoria will be able to go further. So it has been seen that this gender dysphoria is very early and if it is not addressed, it will continue to persist in the big age. In this case, male with gender dysphoria in both childhood and adolescent commonly have older brothers than do males without this condition. So, brothers means that they have big brothers, particularly in the case of male. Now this is very very interesting. कि is it the modelling effect? कि modelling effect ये है कि मतलब वो बच्चा जो है वो दूसरे बच्चे को देखके या तो follow कर रहा है या ये है कि वो resent कर रहा है. The younger male is resenting to the elder male and he doesn't want to be like him. So there can be different explanation for that. A if that मेल बॉय जो कि बड़ा भाई है वो ही आल्सो इज बिहेविंग लाइक गर्ल्स तो छोटा भाई भी लाइक गर्ल्स प्ले करना शुरू कर देगा या बड़ा भाई इज वेरी डोमिनेटिंग और इज इज ट्रीटिंग हिम इन रफ मैनर तो छोटा भाई रिजेंट करेगा टू बी अ मेल बिकॉज ही डजेंट लाइक टू बी मिस ट्रीटेड बाय हिम और हा so this has been, there might be research is needed to look into it. Okay, why uh, commonly, wo jo, uh, tar log hain, jinki, jo male ki taraf hain, halanke, it, it can be other way around, ke chota bhai, agar uski badi bhaen hai, to most probably he would start identifying, but it has been found, ke nahi aisa nahi hai, males with gender dysphoria, in both childhood and adolescents, commonly have older brothers, older brothers hai, unke bade bhai hai. Uh, compared to those who मतलब इस तरह के दो ग्रुप बनाए होंगे रिसर्च ने देखने के लिए लेकिन this is important to be explored further. Then there are other environmental factors that is habitual fetishistic transvestism uh, developing into autogenophilic. Uh, autogenic philic हमने देखा के uh, gender dysphoria can also be linked with paraphilic disorders. और पैराफिलिक डिसऑर्डर्स के अंदर भी हमने देखा कि the person has this kind of a desire और person sees or views himself as as a girl और as a boy so we have to see that it is ऐसा तो नहीं कि it is also coming from there 
کہ پیرافیلیا پیرافیلک ڈس آڈر کے ساتھ ساتھ جینڈر ڈسفورک ڈس آڈر ہے سو دس از ہیبیچول فیٹسٹک ٹرانسویسٹو سزم ڈیولپنگ ڈیولپنگ ان ٹو آٹو گائنی فیلیا دیٹ از سیکشل اور افزل ایسوسیٹڈ ود تھاٹس آف امیجز اور امیج آف ون سیلف بینگ ویمین پرٹیکولرلی ان مین ایکچولی کہ مین جو ہیں وہ زیادہ اپنے آپ کو ویو کر رہے ہوتے ہیں ایز آ ویمین سو دس موسٹ پابلی از دا ون این ادر ایکسپلینیشن فار ہاؤ جینڈر ڈس فوریا کرز بٹ ان آر سوسائٹی وی سی دیٹ ایٹ یگ ایج سم ٹائم مدرز آر پوٹنگ میک اپ آن اور سسٹرز آر پوٹنگ میک اپ آن بردرز فیس اور میکنگ ہیم ٹو بی اے گرل سو ارلی چائلڈ ہڈ کے اندر بھی جب آپ اس طرح کی چیزیں کریں گے سو موسٹ پرابلی دے کین دے کین گیٹ ایکسٹینڈ ان لیٹر ایج and then uh, media has very important role to play um, that the show people um, in very or in that kind of mannerism um, we are not uh, saying that this should not happen or uh, but uh, uh, see that all these disorders are actually extension of normal behaviors when they get exaggerated um or they get magnified or they get uh, affecting your social functioning then they become disorder so it is important to look at okay, why paraphilia has been developed and if they are identified then they they should be taken care of similarly why how and what stage gender dysphoria is being manifested uh, is it in early childhood what kind of practices are actually inculcating such kind of behavior how they are being conditioned Uh, because genes genetic hormonal they are important but at the same time environmental factors which we can control which can which which can be taken care of they should also be focused on thank you very much this was with gender uh, dysphoria disorder and altogether with psychosexual disorders